Good morning, Metaverse. We're back with the top stories and mainstream Metaverse news that you don't hear anywhere else. My name is Brian. And my name is Justin. And let's get right into it. All right. So first story of the day, HSBC enters into a partnership with the Sandbox to offer educational finance games. That's right. The partnership hopes to promote financial literacy via gamified experiences within the metaverse. With the metaverse expected to become a trillion dollar opportunity this year, Shiresh Balaji, the CMO of Asia Pacific HSBC said, the metaverse is how people will experience Web3, the next generation of the internet, using immersive technologies like augmented reality, virtual reality, and extended reality. You know, I really like that definition of the metaverse. It's, you know, it's really hard for a lot of people to understand or explain, but that's, you know, right there in a nutshell. Easy. All right. Before we get into the second story, let's head over to the studio with Frankie Candles. He's going to give us the top five hottest metaverse picks of the week. What's up, Brian and Jay Chains? So let's take a look at the top moving metaverse coins here. Starting here at the top, we have ApeCoin. As you guys know, it is the Board Ape Yacht Club coin, right? Uh, it does say right here that it's up uh, 83%. I know it did launch at about $40. Uh, right now it is sitting at about 14. Sometimes you do get those dumps, uh, you know, when a new coin is launched. They did airdrop a lot of these coins to people who held their NFTs. So these people who are already holding the coins, when the coin launches at a certain point, sometimes those people who are airdrop those coins are coins right at the release of the token, right? So sometimes that happens, you know, when coins are airdropped or there's a pre-sale, when the coin is listed on all the exchanges, the people who got in on the coin early will dump right at the launch. So that is probably what we saw there with ApeCoin. But nonetheless, I do think ApeCoin could be, uh, you know, a top performing coin. Now, uh, moving down here, we have Wow Nero up about 30% on the day or 78% for the last seven days. We got Revamon up 17% for the day or up 10% for the last seven days. Uh, then we have Decent uh, Decentral Games coming in at about 36 cents, up 15% on the day and up 20% for the week. And then last but not least, we do have Revolve Games uh, coming in at 16 cents, up about 13% on the day and up about 24% for the week. Now, guys, you know, crypto might be boring right now. Bitcoin might be down or stuck in a range, right? But these metaverse coins are hot. I mean, just look here at, uh, you know, the charts here on the on the right. You know, things are popping off in the metaverse space, even though Bitcoin is uh, looking pretty ugly. So, guys, there you go. There's the top five moving metaverse coins. So if you're getting bored with Bitcoin moving sideways and all the other cryptos kind of being down right now, uh, maybe head over and take a look at some of these metaverse coins because they are moving for sure. So that's all I got guys back to you all right thanks frankie candles those are some hot picks for sure all right in our second story of the day mclaren automotive is entering the metaverse and they're going to mint some nfts of luxury supercars in partnership with infinite world as part of the partnership infinite world will create and mint original digital artwork that will represent its luxury supercars and hypercars the uk-based car maker plans to build a marketplace for the sale of nfts which will also grant access to exclusive experience for owners. The firm announced Tuesday, and they are working with Infinite World, a metaverse infrastructure provider that helps brands to create and monetize digital assets and improve engagement with users and fans. Infinite World announced plans to go public in December through a 700 million merger with special purpose acquisition company, SPAC. Infinite World announced plans to go public in December through a $700 million merger with a special purpose acquisition company, Ares One Acquisition Corp. The newly formed entity will trade on NASDAQ under the JPEG ticker. Cool. McLaren Automotive is part of the same family as Formula One racing team, McLaren Racing, which has been active in the digital assets industry. In June, the team announced plans to build an NFT platform on Tezos. All right, and for our third and top story of the day, NBA League Pass games will be available in VR Horizon venues. That's right. Sit courtside with your Oculus and NBA League Pass. Horizon Venues on Quest lets you enjoy the energy and ambiance of a live event from the comfort of your home. You can hang out with fellow NBA fans before, during, and after the game. And you get exclusive play-by-play -play commentary from sportscasters like NBA champion Richard Jefferson, Adam Amin, and more. 
The NBA League Pass games in Verizon venues are only available to watch in the U.S. and outside of a 50-mile radius of the two teams playing in that given game. We actually got the chance to sit courtside at the Hawks game recently, so we hit the streets and we asked people this question. Would you rather sit courtside in the metaverse or would you rather sit in the nosebleeds in real life? Let's see what they had to say. If you could sit courtside in the metaverse at home or up in the nosebleeds here in real life tonight, what would you rather do? Metaverse. Uh, I would want to sit at home in the VR headset. Which one would you pick? Courtside. Courtside. Courtside metaverse. Let's go. So as you can see, we got some very in our answers. You know, I kind of thought that people were going to want to be there in real life. It makes the whole live event thing, you know, a little bit more relevant, I would say. Yeah, but they did pick the court side, so thought that was very interesting. All right, well, that's all we have for the news today. We'll see you next Monday. Have a good week.